As we begin our study of the New Testament this year, Come Follow Up would like to provide an additional resource that deepens conversion through connection to the places of the New Testament. As we are here on the north shore of the Sea of Galilee, I'm reminded of the fact that the Savior often taught his disciples to learn for themselves from this spot. In Matthew chapter 13, one such teaching may have occurred here where we are today. We read in Matthew 13, And he spake many things unto them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow, and when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. And some fell upon stony places, where they had not much earth. And forthwith they sprung up, because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched. And because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But others fell into good ground, and brought forth fruit, some an hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. Who hath ears to hear, let him hear. As we stand here on this place, we can see the stones and the thorns and the good ground, as well as the scorching sun that helps us to contextualize this teaching from the Savior. As President Dallin H. Oaks once said, this parable, though it's known as the parable of the sower, could better be known as the parable of the soils. As I contemplate these things together, I think, what kind of soil am I when the Savior gives me a teaching, or when the servants of the Savior teach something new, how do I receive those teachings? Do I cast them off, or do I give them place to grow within my heart? As I begin a new year of studying the New Testament, I am motivated by this fact that I need to take responsibility for my own learning and come closer to the Savior myself.